Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C. Let's go ahead and continue our playthrough of FS Port. Not too many missions left now. I think probably just maybe two or three more videos. In a few minutes, I think. we will be entering the Delta Serpenta sector. We will then begin the most important engagement in our history. We will fight for the very survival of Earth. Yeah, I think there's one more mission after this because they're not giving us bombers yet. So that the Bastion will be able to enter subspace just behind her. Once in subspace, we will attack and destroy the Lucifer. Your task will be to provide cover for the Bastion so that it can quickly converge on the Lucifer. Or maybe, the destroyer I'm not must sure. Be stopped at all costs. Failure is absolutely not an option here, pilot. Good luck. It looks like we're going to be going straight for the Soul Jump node. Yeah not giving us any... Well... See, so got the Banshee and the Prometheus, Hornet, and Phoenix. There's the go Lucifer. for that. It's powering up to leave the system. Oh Alpha shit. One, you must clear out these enemy fighters as quickly as possible. We've got to catch up with the Lucifer. Beta Wing has arrived awaiting order. Well, looks like Lucifer is about to make the jump to Soul because we are way, way behind it. Good kill. I'm not entirely sure why the Bastion can't just like plow through these fighters. I mean, it might take a little bit of damage, but it, it can at least cripple the Lucifer and uh, you know deal with that. But hey, that doesn't matter because Lucifer just jumped. And it's on its way to Earth, so that's great. Let's go ahead and take out everything here. I'm giving me rearm. So uh guess just have the missiles that I've got. So I'm not going to fire any. Actually, which jump node is that? Okay, that is the soul jump node, so this may be it. It's no use. The Bastion will never catch up with the Lucifer. You'll have to well, that's go great. after it yourself, Alpha One. We're launching four Ursas armed with Harbinger bombs. We can only pray there'll be enough. More Harbingers. We are ready in four talks to help provide cover. As soon as they're ready, we'll deploy them. Heads up! We've got visitors! Well, we need to uh, get to that node. At all costs. Yeah, I think there might be a time limit. Order everybody to cover me because I don't think it actually matters you have too much. Ten minutes to reach the jump point. Beyond that, you will not have enough time to defeat the Lucifer. Yeah, so I want to kind of get to it. Keep diverting power to my aft shields here. I'm not even going to bother fighting all these spiders because. Uh, I really don't want to get bogged down. Because I think that's their purpose here, is to bog me down. And you know, frankly, I'm not going to worry about that. Especially since I don't actually have to get all my fighters to the jump node. I just need to get to the jump node. So, just screw it. I'm just going to head for it. Give as many missiles as I can, and hopefully all my fighters will survive. Since uh, everybody's chasing me. And... If I keep all my 
shield power to my aft shield. I should be able to outrun them before they start to punch through it. Yeah, already under 10 kilometers. So I'm over halfway there. I think I might have outrun the fighters because it's not showing anybody locking onto me that or they hit their uh, range and decided not to pursue. So I'm going to go ahead and equalize my shields there. Hope nobody lobs any missiles at me. Though I think I can probably outrun any missiles at the moment with uh, all my power diverted engines. So I think this actually might be the last video for this series because as soon as I jump into the soul jump node, that's it. Well, fuck you, Beta 1. And fuck you, Beta 3, because you're about to die too. The prophecy. Well, fuck. I'm betting that's Hammer of Light. I like how they got this close to Earth. Alpha 1, the taunts are ready and on the way. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Epsilon here. Don't wait for us, Alpha. Keep going. We'll try to catch up with you. Okay, I'm thinking that's not actually... Almost there, Alpha. No, that is... That is a bassoon ship. Just jumped in literally right on top You've of me. you made it, Alpha 1. Your jump drives are powering up now. Okay, let's divert power away from the engines there. And this is the final mission here. Your objective is to destroy the Lucifer. The Lucifer has five reactors located on its main hull. In order to eliminate the Lucifer, these reactors must or, be destroyed. Or here is an interesting idea. Okay, target the Lucifer. All fighters. Disable right. my target. All right, everyone. We don't have much time. You've got to take out those reactors ASAP. All right, let's close in. I believe the You've Phoenix sure has longer range. Deliver their payload. Protect them at all costs. As for Delta Wing, it's going to be up to you to take out those reactors. Get it done. The thing is, I can't really rely on my wingmen to actually do that complicated of a thing. Uh, I probably should have actually given myself a bomber, so that might actually fuck me here, and I might actually have to replay the last mission to do this properly which uh, I don't actually know if I can actually change the ship class properly, but we'll see. If not, I'll just have to time accelerate firing at this thing or something uh, if my bombers get destroyed, because they also only have a limited payload, and Lucifer has a decent amount of hit points. Also, I forgot, I've got no shielding, so I'm going to have to be careful here. Ah, uh, crap. Because the thing is, I can't let the fighters really distract me too much. Because, uh... Shoot. Too close to the engine. Ah, there's the engine. I just need to get a clear lock on it. Yeah, I really should have gone with bomb. Because basically the idea here... Okay, uh... I'm going to order Alpha to... Uh, break and attack, and we are actually going to engage the spiders. And hope that Delta can get in here and disable the Lucifer, because the one nice thing is that we don't actually have to destroy the reactors on the Lucifer, we just have to stop it from getting to Earth. And, uh, although it won't really count it if we destroy the engines, the Lucifer won't be able to reach the end of the subspace corridor here 
and we don't actually have to worry about destroying the reactors or anything complicated like that. We can just blow up the Lucifer. Okay, it looks like the they are attacking the Lucifer finally, so... Subspace is a little bit disorienting. Sound a little bit worried there, Command. How's the Lucifer going? The thing is, even if we only have a few seconds left, I think. This again, I think. Uh, crap, missiles. I don't want to get hit by them. Come on. Okay, I evaded all of them. So if they can disable the Lucifer, like I said, the, the ship won't be able to jump out at all. It is taking a bit of damage, though. Like, I think the Harbingers are actually doing damage. Uh, reactor 2 is down, Reactor 1 is down, so looks like they're actually doing it anyways. So let's keep on engaging these fighters here. Okay, Reactor 4 is down. Oh god, I need to clear away from Lucifer. I need to get way away from Lucifer. Because the thing is, although the Lucifer is at 43%, uh, should it explode? Like, should the reactors go down? Uh, it will actually completely explode. So, uh, I'm going to order everybody to destroy that one subsystem. And I'm going to take out this one fighter that's being a bitch here. There we go. Lucifer's going down. So I guess we had to do it command's way. were destroyed, and I know what they knew. I know that if not for the Shivans, they would have perished long before. Without the Shivans, someone would have discovered the Ancient Ones in their infancy, and eliminated them, just as surely as they eliminated countless billions of others. I believe it is only the Destroyers who are killed. The Shivans are the great destroyers, but they are also the great preservers. That is why, when we moved into space, there was no one powerful enough to kill us. Long had we been the destroyer, our turn had nearly come. In the Basuda War, we learned how to adapt. We learned how to study our enemy. We learned how to overcome. We learned how to survive. 
and so we did. All the jump points from Earth are gone, but the Shivans can rebuild them. I'm told we can expect them again, but not in my lifetime. Such is liberation. Thanks for playing the free space port. I commit to see the credits. Well, might as well run the credits here. It's a huge explosion. Oh, that's the loose fur going up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let the credits run here, but, uh. It's a pretty nice, uh job done by the team there. Uh, now, as I said, the jump node has actually been cut off. So, uh, there's actually no way for the rest of humanity to get back to Earth and all that. So, uh, basically, that's it for them. Uh, you know, eventually, I think Free Space 3 would have uh, had us reconnect to Earth, but uh, I guess we'll never know that because, well, there wasn't really anything uh, planned for that that I know of, so there's been no leaked documents or anything like that. credits run here just because the team that did this does actually deserve a lot of credit for making this work in free space 2 and I mean you'll see in Silent Thread Reborn which is going to be the next series which should uh, start here in a few days uh, it was actually done and voice acted by the people that did free space support and I kind of wish that they'd done to free space 1 what they did to Silent Threat. Uh, because they actually improved it considerably, which is why I'm going to use that instead. Uh, and I know the credit thing there said continue with Operation Templar as well. Operation Templar is actually a multiplayer thing. I mean, I, it's not really set up for single player. Uh, however, this is all free to download once you own a copy of Free Space 2 from Good Old Games, as it says right here. Which means that you can actually go ahead and buy it and play it yourself for $5. Which, you know, that's the price of a hamburger, that's the price of a coffee at Starbucks. And you get, you get so much out of it with this game. I mean, I just can't emphasize enough just how good this game actually is. Uh, especially once you actually play through the actual Free Space 2. And I believe that's, uh... Pretty much it. I don't think the credits automatically end, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump out here. And let's go ahead and end this playthrough. This is the end of the main free space campaign, but not the end of the story. Continue with Silent Threat, Reborn, Operation Templar, and Free Space 2. Thanks for playing. The Free Space Port Team. HTTP colon slash slash fsport.hard-lighht.net. Anyways, this has been Trekkie1701C. Uh, we're going to start Silent Threat Reborn here in a few days. And fortunately, it will not be voiced by Microsoft Bob. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. Uh, it will actually have actual voice acting, and it is very good voice acting. 
Until next time, this is Trekkie1701C. Please remember to subscribe, rate, and comment.